Hey folks, JD here, and on this very Halloween-esque day, we have this. This is the WL Toys V930, that's it, and it's a brushless helicopter. Now, I brought it out here today, it's very misty, but I have got enough um, enough place to fly with this without there being any issue at all. Now, there's no orientation light either, I've just been noticing, so uh, that's going to be quite interesting when I come to uh, come to fly her. What am I thinking about this today? Well, I think it's going to be very stable, it's going to be very, very true, it's going to fly very well. It's also going to be quite smooth. That brush the smoker gives you a lot more smooth flight, and I think it's going to be quite smooth indeed. They're the most things I'm thinking of with this for the minute. I don't, don't know anything else for now, but I do know that it is going to be smooth. Right, okay then, friends. Let's get her on the mat, let's calibrate her, and then let's take her straight up. Right then, so I've got the battery and everything ready. I'm just going to connect her up now, make sure that the cables are away. If you haven't seen the unboxing, you've got the main cog sitting here. Make sure your cables are well away from it, because your battery is right underneath it. So it gives you a nice little bit of weight at the front, but it does also mean that you... Oh, nice little tune. You do have cables to contend with when flying. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of an issue. One up and one down to bind. I think it would auto-bind as well. Let me try that again. Yeah, auto-binds. There we are, beautifully. Uh, I always do one up and one down just because it's a force of habit. So that's everything. So we should be good. So, let's take her up. Oh. <laughs> and off we go. Oh, this thing is a little bit of a nipper. Oh, you want to be careful with this. This thing will bite you. Oh, you can hear that motor screaming. So as I said, it is a very, very foggy day today, which is why I'm going to keep her, or at least attempt to keep her, quite close to me. Now, the absence of an orientation light is going to make it quite difficult, once again, keeping the helicopter close to me. She is very, very bitey. I'm taking the first couple of minutes just to get used to her, like usual, and then we're going to go from there. Finding that she's a little bit wobbly on the turn, um, but... If I use a little bit of roll with that as well, it soon just sorts out that wobble. <laughs> oh, this thing is, this thing is very snappy, very snappy. Now you've got to feather that throttle a little bit to keep her down and keep her around about where you want to have her to fly, because otherwise she's just going to go. And that brushless motor is really singing. I don't know if it's coming across on the microphone of the camera, but wow. It is really singing, and I'm letting her altitude just climb for the minute. <laughs> now you only get seven minutes of flight out of this. Uh, let's bring her down a little bit, that's a little bit high. Ooh, lucky we don't have any breeze here today. We have under one mile an hour wind coming in here today. Oh, she soars beautifully. She dives beautifully. Come on you, come back to me. Right. She, oh, that was nice. She came down at a bit like a, a, maybe a 40 degree angle, 35, 40 degree angle, and I just throttled up enough. And then, by, do, by doing that, I managed to right her, because she was coming down at a bit of an angle. Oh, really nice. I'm just trying to kind of just see how gently I can fly this. <laughs> Giving her a little bit of pitch there. Ooh, that's nice. Just hear those propellers cutting through the breeze. That motor keeping her very stable. Now, obviously, there's no sort of altitude hold. You have got, uh, but it's very easy to keep her up there. It's very easy to keep her up there. You haven't got to be feathering that throttle too much. I mean, I just dropped down then from about 40% throttle down to about 10, let her fall, and then just throttled up. And because of that brushless motor, just had more than enough power just to take her back up. And because of the extra stability by not having a fly bar as well, I, I, I do strongly believe that, a no, that no fly bar is the best sort of fly bar. Um, she just, oh, she just really, really flew really, really well. And she is cut that motor, throttle it back up. See, 
she has no problem whatsoever in giving you the power when you need it. There's none of this, she's going to kiss the floor, and then you're going to bounce back and she's going to keep on flying. You don't even have to get on that, that, that low. But I tell you what, she really is ripping. And I'm not even pushing her. I'm really not even pushing her. There's, there's my, there's my figure, finger configuration on the, on the sticks. If you can see it, I'm just going to bring her down a little bit. So I'm not, I'm not really pushing her at all. You know, I'm just keeping her within sort of accept, expect, acceptable limits to ensure that she doesn't just fly off. Ooh, there we go. See, that was that 35 degree angle thing I was talking about, where she comes down a little bit and then you just give her a bit more power and that's it, she just flies off. Beautiful. Now I am missing that orientation light. I really am, but in saying that, I can see the green. The green stands out quite far, and that's in a day like today. So maybe the, the lack of orientation light is on purpose, but ugh, I would prefer to have one. I've been flying for a few years, and I do now and again, well, most of the time, rely on that orientation light, which is why I enjoy flying line of sight as much, because I know I can get it back. <laughs> oh, she's very snappy. Another thing I like as well, this transmitter, is the, the, the beep that you get when you turn it on, it auto-binds, but it's very subtle, it doesn't scream at you. A lot of these transmitters these days just scream at you con constantly. They beep in, some of them are, ooh, lost control a bit there, but managed to get her back. Little bit of your anneroll let to bring her around a little bit tight, throttle up. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, some of these transmitters really scream at you these days, this one doesn't. The sound is very muted. If you're wondering what that was, I'm just trying to see if I can how much throttle I can lose and then jam back on to see exactly if she starts to if she starts to spin, if she starts to lose control. So far though. <laughs> so far she is doing excellently. And the thing is, tight turns as well, very, very tight corners. Very tight turns. There's that losing throttle, bringing her back up. Oh, listen to that scream. I really hope that came across on the microphone then because that thing was a proper scream. She literally let loose and was like, Wah! <laughs> like a little banshee, aren't you, my dear? But yeah, so the transmitter feels nice, transmitter responds well. There's no problem there. It's a WL Toys transmitter, as basic as you can get, but seriously, just a great little transmitter. You know, the, the helicopter responds very well. Drop that throttle, throttle on. You know, oh, just beautiful. Really, really nice. Throttle back on. There's that scream again. Little bit of snap back there. But yeah, oh, I, I like, I like, I like a lot. And it's what I like about the brushless set as well. Whether it be in this or whether it be in a quad uh, quadcopter, or whether it be in a plane. You can pilot as fast as you like, or as slow as you like. You can step up and you can also, <laughs> you can step up and you can also um, just toddle along. And it's absolutely fine. There is no problem whatsoever in you flying whichever way you want to fly. Because those motors, they're not going to be that jarring. They are, they are going to be smooth. They're going to give you a nice flight. Loads of pitch. And, um, it's, it's, it's just going to be a wonderful flight. It's going to be memorable. Whoa, snap back. Beautiful. Brought it down there and then just sort of back up. I like doing that with helicopters. A lot of them, if you have a fly bar, it'll start spinning. Lose control and fall on the floor. But uh, what I found with the past couple of non-fly barless, or a couple of five fly barless, non-fly barless would mean they have a fly bar. But fly barless ones that I've been flying, they... Um, they really, they really respond well, and they don't spin out of control either. Oh, that was almost had to eat my words then. I think I feel, but uh, yeah, no, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm hoping this is coming out well on the camera. It's a very misty, foggy day. Oh, beautiful! Just a really, really nice helicopter. Now we should be coming close to her time. That battery life is going to start depleting. My transmitter battery life is fine. My signal on my telemetry screen hasn't altered. So we're, we're looking good. 
you know, we're looking good. You get a nice little bit of close range with this. You get a nice little bit of range anyway with helicopters. I mean, the distance for this one is estimated at 80 to 100. And I say estimated because they always say it's within a range, which that tells me that they don't know. So if it says 100 as your top, I would take a no further than about 50 or 60. And then obviously you can increase the range then and see exactly how much control you have. But you, will, you may have to quickly bring her back. Oh, she's just, just really, really nice. Really efficient motor inside here. Really, really nice brushless set. Come on, we yeah. And that's the thing, if you get a beautiful day like this. Now this is a really nice day, obviously, minus the fog, but not for me. I love the fog. But um, hence why I'm standing in the field on my own at stupid o'clock in the morning covered in fog. Uh, <laughs> but um, I couldn't even remember my point of the story there. So I'm just going to break from that. <laughs> Well than JD. Yeah, really nice. Responsive controls, responsive, very responsive throttle. Very responsive throttle. I mean, I'm just bringing her around now. She's got a nice little bit of pitch going on. Nice little bit of turning. Oh, just, just really nice. Really, really, really nice. I feel because we are not hammering the hell out of this throttle that we're going to get a bit more than seven minutes of battery life. My money's going to be on about maybe nine. But then again, with no orientation light, it's very difficult to tell when the battery is dying, other than you not having the power to just take off when you throttle down. Oh, see that lovely little dance she did then, just coming down, really controlled? That was me. All I did was I just altered that throttle down to about 20% and just left it, and she just coasted really really nice oh battery's going battery's going i want 100 percent throttle and she's close to the floor so i tell you what i'm going to bring her back so i'm going to try and see if i can bring her back in a controlled manner there we are controlled and then no throttle <laughs> oh that's a bit of fun folks that is a bit of fun right so transmitter works really well helicopter works really well Whoa, this is a nice little thing this is so a nice little brushless set inside there, ensuring that you have a really nice, really controlled flight, really stable. Great helicopter. I mean, she is she is nippy, she is darty. So you have got to you have really got to control her. There's no you can't just let her go and just snap her back and bring her back and constantly do loops like you can with some quads. You all what you have to do with this, you have to be controlling your movements. Control the throttle, control the pitch, control the yaw, control the roll, control every part. And the reason I'm talking in quadcopter speak for this is because the uh, the analog sticks aren't controlled. They aren't um, just locked down to one movement. You have full uh, 360 degree control out of them. Um, and as you're moving her around, you do really get a feel for how this thing flies. This thing flies well. This thing is brilliant. I honestly think for the price you're going to pay for a brushless set inside this, you may as well go for this and forget you're brushed. Absolutely. Get some more batteries. One battery is not enough for this. You're gonna. I, I literally want to now put another one in and take her back up again. Um, so yeah, get yourself a couple of batteries. Get this one. It's about 35, 40 quid on Banggood. Uh, link is in the description. It is a great little price. I paid it, and honestly, I don't regret it one iota. It's under 250 grams. Brushless set. It's just a great little helicopter. So uh, yeah, and I can't again. Once again, with the transmitter, it's just a standard WL Toys transmitter. There's nothing. Nothing more, nothing less with it. It just works. It's not very pretty, but it just does the job. And if it does the job, you know what? There's no point in having anything else. There we are, folks. I hope you've enjoyed that. I really did. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening, my friends. I've been JD. You've been fantastic, as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying. <laughs>